Good evening and welcome to Bishops and Comprehensive Schools Carol Concert. As head teacher, it gives me great pleasure in introducing Lenny Beard, our head girl, and Jake Gates, our head boy, who will be introducing the evening celebrations. Nos weitha a croeso i gynnair nadolig blynyddiol ysgol gyfyn Llandailo Fewall. Good evening and welcome to Bishops and Comprehensive School's annual Christmas concert. This year things are slightly different. We have a professional company filming the event this evening and it is being streamed on the school's Facebook, YouTube, Instagram and Vimeo sites. This evening we are hoping to bring a little bit of joy into your households after what has been a very difficult year for all. All items have been filmed using social bubbles and using social distancing rules. If you enjoy the concert, which we hope you do, we'd like you to consider donating the price of a ticket to our GoFundMe page, which can be found on Facebook. All money raised will go towards the charities which we are supporting this year, which includes the local food bank. Once in increasing busyness of our lives we often forget where we actually celebrate Christmas at all. This year we felt it was more important than ever to celebrate Christmas after it's been celebrated for more than 2,000 years. The Gospel of St. Luke says, And in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God unto a city of Galilee named Nazareth. A virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph. The angel came to her and said, Hail, thou art highly favoured, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying, and then the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favour with God. And behold, thou shalt conceive and bring forth a son, and shall call his name Jesus. He shall be great, and shall be called the Son of the Highest.
went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed, and all went to be taxed, everyone into his home city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, and he, um, to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. Seriously, Joseph? You expect me to go on a ridiculously long journey to another city just so we can take part in a census? We have to be counted in the census so that the government can tax us. Otherwise, we'll get into a lot of trouble, Mary. Oh, come on. I'm sure God never meant me to go on such a long journey when I was nine months pregnant. Can't I just stay in Naz Nazareth? No, Mary. You are my wife. You have to come with me. Well, I don't think God intended this baby to be born away from my home, away from my family. Who knows what God intended, Mary?
Suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, peace and goodwill to all men. So we can go see the baby then? Yes, that's what I'm telling you to do. How will we find it? You'll find the baby wrapped in swaddling cloths, lying in a manger. That's not much help. There are hundreds of stables in Bethlehem. Follow the star, that big one over there. It'll be right above the stable. We better get going then.
Every mother's child is gonna spy to see if reindeer really know how to fly. And so said many times many ways Merry Christmas to you Now, when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod the king, there came wise, well-educated people from the east of Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east, and have come to worship him. When Herod the king heard these things, he was troubled. He inquired of the wise men what time the star appeared, and he sent them to Bethlehem, and said, Go and search diligently for the young child, and when you have found him, bring me word again, and that I may come and worship him also.
have a blue Christmas without you. Decorations of red on this green Christmas tree won't be the same day. Now you're not here with me. said it's a busy time loads of people are coming to bethlehem to register anyway it was very generous of him to let us sleep in the stable with the donkey i've had to put the baby in the manger in case he gets stepped on imagine the son of god having to sleep in the place where they put the hay for the animals well at least he'll be warm i suppose so do you really think this is all part of god's big plan absolutely well as the savior of the world i don't think god wanted him to be born in a palace I think God wants to show that everyone is equal in his eyes, wherever they are born. Ah, oh, thank you for believing me. I will always love and support you, Mary, just like our baby will grow up to love and support everyone in the world. Thank you, Joseph. But please, next time. Yes? Can someone else be my midwife?
And lo, the star which they saw in the east went before them, till it came and stood over where the young child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. And when they came into the house, they saw the young child with Mary, his mother. Who is that knocking on the door at this time of night? I'll let them in, shall I? Of course. And they fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. We want to say thank you for bearing the child of God. The word of God has been made into a real person, and he will live among us. And we will behold his glory as the only human embodiment of the Father, full of grace and truth. Peace, Peace and, and goodwill, goodwill to everybody in the world.
On behalf of Bishops and Comprehensive School, we'd like to extend our sincere thanks for you all for attending this evening, and we sincerely hope you've enjoyed the stunning performances. We are delighted that you've been able to join us this year, even though it has been in a virtual way at Christmas time. Hopefully we would have brought a little bit of that Christmas joy and gladness into your homes and hearts after what has been a challenging year. Our annual thanks, therefore, to all the participants who make this concert one of the highlights of our school calendar yet again. In particular, a vote of thanks goes to a number of staff for their contributions over the last few weeks. Our peripatetic music staff. Mrs Angela Dennis, Organisation of Readings. Mrs Ross Harris, Music Teacher. Mr Andrew Millard, Curriculum Leader of Music. And thank you all for attending this evening with us. And finally, to wish you a happy Christmas and a joyful and prosperous new 2022.